so when we take here this is the aluminium chloride okay al means aluminium cl means chloride so how it is taking place here we will see now huh? aluminium chloride just hold on so aluminium aluminium L, uh, atomic number is what 13 aluminum atomic number is 13 and chlorine atomic number is what 17 now aluminium is metal chlorine is non metal so aluminium 13 means what 2 8 3 electronic configuration so here 3 are there okay 3 chlorines al3 so here 17 electronic configuration 2 8 7 so 3 chlorines are there so it needs 1 1 electron so aluminium has the 3 valence electron so for one chlorine one another chlorine one another chlorine one since the al lost the three it will have a al three plus and cl getting al three minus three electrons it is getting okay one one chlorine getting one one so we write only the al okay here we have to write how we have to write so like this we have to write here so for example al okay so al al will be losing the three electrons na al three plus and the next uh, uh, what we will write cl so how many are there three so three we write here so one two three four sorry so like this so how it received one electron all three chlorines hurry chlorine one electron got so minus so this is the way we should write here this is al3 plus 3 plus and in the bracket this is the formation of aluminium chloride so different compounds forms through ionic comp ionic bond and covalent bond okay it is the formation of aluminium chloride understand so now we see for the formation formation for the sodium and oxygen oxygen okay sodium oxide so here it is not proper just look at your textbook take page 117 understand for example sodium atomic number is what 11 okay sodium atomic number is 11 so electronic configuration 281 so for example oxygen electronic configuration is 8 so 2 6 understand so sodium how many it has na2 sodium oxide so sodium is metal oxygen is non metal understand so how do we write now here we will write na how many valence electrons one but how many it has two it has na uh, sodiums it has two so that is why we write na and na so here one and here here one okay it has two and then we write uh, plus oxygen so oxygen how many it has valence electrons six so one two three four five six and then it need two more electrons so how do we write so two will come here so that na is losing from each sodium it losing one electron so we write only the plus so two sodiums and then for the oxygen we write oxygen only how many it received two so two minus or minus minus it has already six and it is re receiving two more so two okay so this is the way so this is the way they form the compounds okay so valency what is the valency we saw many different examples of how atoms of different elements lose or accept electrons to achieve inert gas configuration so we saw so many examples how their valence electrons how they are receiving the inert gas configuration we can understand valence in the following ways so some explanation about the valency okay 
So, sodium has one electron in its valence shell which it loses to achieve inert gas configuration. Therefore, the valency of sodium is 1. Calcium loses 2 electrons from its valence shell, so its valency is 2. Chlorine has 7 electrons in its valence shell and gets, gets an electron to complete its octet. Therefore, the valency of chlorine is 1. Okay. So, one more thing here, valency. They are speaking about valency. So, when we when we take chlorine is here, it is the 17. So, 2, 8, 2, 8, 7. One more it need to get the 8. So, it receiving one electron from here. So, chlorine valency is 1. Okay. Valence and valency. Valence electrons means so 7. How much valency it is receiving? 1. Charges. Okay. So, like that. Losing and gaining. Valency tells us how many electrons will be lost or accepted by the atom of an element to achieve inert gas configuration. In this way, we find that atoms of some elements lose atoms from their valence, valence shell and atoms of some other elements gain electrons to complete their octet. So far, we have identified metals and non-metals based on their physical properties. Now we can say that during ionic bond formation, the elements that loses electrons are called metals and the elements that gain electrons are called non-metals. Underline this point, electrons that losing the uh, atoms that losing the electrons are called metals and atoms that are gaining the electrons are called non-metals. So this point you underline. So ionic bond will be taking place between the non-metal and metals okay so this is the one so valency electrons will tell us how many to lose and how many to receive for example in the for the chlorine valency valence electrons are 287 so this 7 will tell us how many to receive one to receive and aluminium has the 13 so 283 so it will aluminum tell how many to lose three to lose okay so this is the ionic bond so here are some questions are there you just do it okay some questions na you do it and write in the textbook so for example potassium chloride so potassium chloride means uh, what KCl okay so what is the atomic number for potassium you find it from the periodic table and find this one and Cl and draw the using Lewis symbols Lewis symbols means like this you have to do it okay so symbols now using the Lewis symbol so in this way you have to do it so all these are the Lewis symbol and this also following the Lewis symbol and this also following the Lewis and this also Lewis and this also Lewis. Only this one is not the Lewis scientist. This is different way explained. Okay. Then how will be the charges of potassium and chloride? And you by losing and gaining what are the charges? So all these questions you write it in the notebook. Thank you students.